and uh, and I saw just amongst even my own friends and uh, and my own experience too was that you know turn the radio on turn MTV on or, or whatever and um, there was always something missing. There was never like, the, the, it was like looking at the McDonald's commercial and the foods on the table, but you don't really want to eat it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so I, I, you know, I, I felt that there was a, there was a void of music, and it's like, well, when there's a void, maybe that's a good time for me to try and uh, uh, put a nice deli sandwich in with uh, some Swiss cheese, and you know. So you've got all the mustard and all the Swiss cheese all and all the, mustard, the pickles the Swiss and everything. Cheese, uh, no, no red meat. No, when you no came joking, out with yeah. this and you went to people, now here we're going to show some pictures. We're going to show you these because these are fun all night. Now, talk a little bit about this. You recognize that at all? Is that a picture of you? Did someone upstairs that's find a, a picture? That's a picture of me. Um, with a Coca-Cola. Oh, the Coca-Cola. That's yeah, Is that right. Japan? Uh, yeah, no, that's no. New York. Now that shows you what I know about background shots. <laughs> <laughs> you toured pretty much everywhere, didn't you? Uh, yeah, 53 countries. 53 countries. I believe the biggest 53. years were 1964. Um, no, actually, the, the real big year started 66, 66 when we first came to the States. 64 was when you first cut your... your That's first. when we did the go now. That's 30 yeah. years ago. Yeah. Are there, how many in here are over 30? Okay, good. Then you can stay. The rest of you can get out of here. You don't know what we're talking about. But the Go Now, was it a popular song at first? Did it make it big? Was that the one that just took off? It, yes, it was uh, It was number one in just a matter of about three or four weeks. Uh, in England? We, yeah, we were doing the Chuck Berry tour in England at the time. And I remember about two-thirds of the way through the tour, we, uh, we got into an Austin limousine, and uh, we had the driver put the radio on because it was Sunday and Top of the Pops radio program was on and uh, we you know we've been climbing up the charts and it was there it was number one the feeling incredible incredible feeling number 10 in the United States I think it got to three it. I three? think eventually yes it made three in the States were you aware of what was going on in the States with music I know yes. you did doing a lot of work in England of course and did you keep up with the States and did they inform you and your oh. people Oh, yes, very much so. Yes. so in fact, I mean, a lot of the things that we recorded in the early days were from demo uh, discs that we got from American disc jockeys um, as through, you, through Friends of Friends. As you performed, too, I remember <coughs> in reading some of the things about you in a great article that was written in Goldmine, uh, talked about you enjoyed a lot when the Americans would come over. Yeah. And you would either go as backup groups or you would, you would be in there playing for them as backup. Is that how yes. that worked? You met uh, some great people. In particular, um, one thing I remember, and this was uh, this was really before Go Now. Um, we did uh, several weeks with Sonny Boy Williamson, and um, in fact, some of the early photographs that you sometimes see around were taken at the Marquee Club in London uh, with Sonny Boy Williamson. Uh, I remember the first time walking on stage with him uh, in rehearsal, and I was sitting at, a p at the piano, and he was behind me, and. Uh, uh, we got along real fine, and, and then he said, uh, "He said, can, hey, man, man, he said, man, can you, can you play this note?" And I said, yeah, sure. Well, what is it? You know, and, and he gets his harmonica, goes like this, 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 this note, and I'm, I'm going da 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 da, you know, and uh, it was right in the cracks, of course, and that was. His throat, you know. <laughs> As you play for some of these groups, your parents still alive and everything was going uh, on? Uh, at that time, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. What did they say to you? Now, here was some, were, you, were you trying to please them a little bit in some of the music? Or, or did um, you say, I'm, we're going to do our own music, Dad. Uh, I found out now that even though I like Sinatra and Nat King Cole and the rest of them, this is our music now. My parents loved the music Didn't that we made. great? Yeah, and they came to the shows. Everything. Yeah, did they ever give you tips? You know, your dad was a piano player, didn't uh, he? No, he just, uh, you know, if I would ask him, uh, you know, uh, can you show me some more chords, or, or uh, I like that song, can you show me how to play that, or whatever, you know, he would do so, but he never tried to influence, influence me in any way. Proud of you, all yeah. the way through? Yeah. My mom used to give me her last ten shillings to go and do a show, you know. I mean, those kind of things. Yeah, yeah. and you it look was, back. Go to it. You look back and it was so <coughs> different and difficult. I think today's group doesn't have that. You don't see the moms and dads today whose kid has just blown apart three or four lamps and a chandelier playing that thing and going up and saying, here is $10, get the hell out of town. You know? <laughs> right. So that, that's changed quite a bit. And, uh, and we were talking a little bit earlier about how tough it is for the kids today. 
We're going to come back in just a minute. And don't you go away because we're going to be talking some more with Mike Pender and the Moody Blues. Take some of your phone calls and talk to you a little bit about the Moody Blues. And how about Mike Pender playing on the record Imagine? We'll be right back. <laughs> Nothing ever remains the same. Simpson Buick Oldsmobile is having a massive remodeling sale. Prices are falling faster than the walls of our building. The 95s are coming. We need room to remodel, so we must move our inventory. Prices will never be lower. Our huge selection of centuries, California Regals, Les Sabres, and Park Avenues means we can make an incredible deal for you. Our next remodeling sale is at least five years away, so by now, don't miss this sale. Simpson Buick Oldsmobile. We're big enough to deal and small enough to care. The holidays are here, and we're all full of good cheer and well wishes for all, um, aren't we? If you're not, don't despair. You have a lot of company. To many, the holidays represent dreaded new challenges and weight control, alcohol abuse, anxiety, depression. This year, don't suffer alone. Tune into the next edition of To Your Health, entitled Surviving the Holidays, Chasing Away the Blues, Blahs, and Blubber. Find out what you can do to have the holidays be, if not joyful, at least healthy and painless. Live Tuesday, December 6th at 7 p.m. with encore performances throughout the month. Ho, ho, ho. Now we found the key, and if you want to win the change, Where is, where is that hair? I, the, everybody, you know, the wild da 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 and all of that that was going on. And I, I keep remembering back at some of the, the nice, I don't know why. I didn't like the crazy, wild, whacked out songs. Am I strange? Or were there a lot of people like me? Uh, I think there's a lot of people like you, especially on the West Coast. I mean, uh, I, I called, when I first came here, I called it the, um, what was it, the, uh, the land of the mutants. The land? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And these are the offspring of those uh, <laughs> of those people. There's a guy back up there just held up six fingers and waved at him. <laughs> was California different? Uh, th th that kind of music was changed. The surf music was coming in, the Beach Boys and all of that. So was that different when you came out here? Did you see a different audience, different crowd? Uh, well, 66, uh, 67 was the first time I think we made it to the West Coast. Uh, so some of that had already By that time, to uh, you know, the, the, uh, the San Francisco flower power uh -huh. thing was uh, really happening. Uh, I noticed uh, this picture here. Go ahead and show that. Can we do that. Should I hold it up? I'm good at this. <laughs> here, let's tell about Tuesday afternoon. Uh, well, Tuesday afternoon is the uh, the song that was the, on Days of Future Past, which was, which basically took care of that time period of the day, you know, Tuesday, because we all had songs. Um, you know, uh, I did Dawn is a Feeling and the Sunset. Uh, Justin did um, Tuesday afternoon and night some white satin, which is the last thing at night. So we all had these two time periods of this one day. Uh, that's how that came about. But we were talking about the San Francisco flower sound, and that's that's us there dressed in our. I think the only thing that's missing is caftans. Or, or, well, maybe you even got some caftans on there. Do you, you have know? a caftan or two? I, I had a couple of caftans yeah, too. Yeah. yeah, and this is you know my first mustache. Was just, that your first just, one? Just coming on there, yeah. Those Moody Boo fans. Actually, remember. I was taking I was taking hair from up here and gluing it on oh, the yeah, top yeah. lip. And that's what happened. Right. In, because you've got a full growth <laughs> yeah, down <yeah>. here. <laughs> <laughs> I had hair too. I keep forgetting where I don't know what I put it with it. 